Today I've received an email that a DGX Spark can be reserved and I'm going to guide you how to do it and through some different options. Let's get started by clicking on the link and I'll share the link in the comments below and in the description of this video. When you follow the link you should see this reserve now. And we're going to click it. This will take you to this page. So um, you see there's a reserve now button on the top of here and the, it's called NVIDIA DigiX Spark. Now there's an interesting option and I recommend for you to actually do both ways so that you increase your chances of getting a system to put your hands on it. I'm going to show you the other way first which is reserve from partners. You click here. You see that there's three partners available, ASUS, Dell and HP. Go ahead and register with each of them if you want. Um, but I personally recommend ASUS because I work with ASUS and I know the people there. Clicking that link will lead you to this page where you actually see that um, you're reserving something called the ASUS Ascent GX10 AI supercomputer. Now notice that um, this is powered by the same NVIDIA GB10 Grace Blackwell superchip. It's a bit like a PC makers using Intel CPUs and putting in additional, like their own motherboard maybe or other things. But for all intents and purposes, I expect the ASUS system to perform on a similar level because the brains of the system is the same GB10 Grace Blackwell superchip as in the NVIDIA DGX Spark. So NVIDIA DGX Spark is their own offering by NVIDIA itself. So it's actually directly from NVIDIA. And, um, by purchasing a computer from one of the partners, possibly you can get a better price. We will see that in a moment as well. Um, but basically in this form, and here's a link where you can learn more about the ASUS Ascent GX10. Let's do that briefly. Basically, this is the way it looks like. And again, it's the same NVIDIA GB10 Grace Blackwell Superchip font in NVIDIA DGX Spark up to 1000 AI tops of processing power. I've created a different separate video explaining a bit more about what this really means and how much performance you can expect from it. But basically we also get the Connect X7 network technology. An interesting aspect is, will we be able to in network um, two systems, let's say from NVIDIA, this NVIDIA Spark with uh, the system from ASUS Ascend? Mm, I reckon yes, but let's see. Back to the form here. So you fill in these things, your name, your organization. As you see, this is geared not so much towards private individuals, but more towards businesses and organizations. Um, there is an individual user option here. So possibly if you are actually an individual user without the access to a friend who has a business and intends to purchase through the business, I would assume you can just put in your own name again in uh, this company organization field here. Let's see, comment below if you actually manage to secure a system uh, registering as a private user. And then again in the verticals, um, I fully expect uh, these systems to also become available through general stores. So this will be like a first wave where you have to register and then you will be able to purchase it. But then after that, you should be able to get them at your favorite retailers including uh, by zero de which is my own online shop which i run um, i will uh, create a separate video once the dgx spark and dgx station systems become available for us we are an asus partner that's why actually i'm recommending you asus but you know the others are also great companies so have a look and decide what works for you and then you click on submit here and you got a confirmation. Uh, thank you for signing up. We will notify you as soon as when ASUS Ascend GX10 becomes available. I'm going to create more videos, so subscribe now to this channel to not miss out. All right, let's get into the second option, and I recommend for you to get to do both. Second option is to click this reserved now link up on the top, which is what we're going to do. You might see this page here your nvidia account choose an account to continue so to use this option you actually need to have an nvidia account in this case i'm going to continue using my account and then you will see um, this marketplace reservation item please note there is um, something when i've done a german version of this video and i had changed my location to the us for this video 
and the NVIDIA DGX Spark bundle was not available yet for the German side, or maybe they just updated it while I was actually creating the video. So in any case, you have the option to choose this NVIDIA DGX Spark bundle, which is two units with a connecting cable and to be able to run larger LLMs because then you can spread the LLM on two units. Or you have this partner product here, which is the Asus Ascent GX10 one terabyte. Now, remember I was talking earlier about different price points. This is a way where partners can differentiate themselves like Asus. Um, in this case, NVIDIA DGX Spark itself has a four terabyte drive and the double unit also has four terabytes. Whereas the Asus Ascent has a one terabyte drive and comes in at $1,000 less. Now, if I had a choice, I would opt for the drive, like the unit with four terabytes. But if you're on a budget, do go for the one terabyte one. And the reason being that these large language models are huge. The large in the name is, you know, to say like uh, a reason why they are so huge. <laughs> And if you experiment with a lot of them, you will find that your drive will fill up fast. So four terabytes is just a good uh, way. Of course, you can also just you know, use an external drive, attach it like an SSD or some uh, an external SSD to put those models on which you're not using actively. Um, again, they expect more of these partner products to become available from HP and uh, the other company. Asus Dell and HP. Here I'm going to select the NVIDIA DGX Spark bundle. Uh, let me quickly fill this in and then uh, run the reserve group. And uh, this will lead you to this thank you page where you get a reservation number and again a confirmation of your contact information, the address and the product you've reserved. Additionally, it says that you can view or manage your reservation in your account. I'm going to link that uh, link as well. Now, um, here, that's an overview of your reservation. And you see, as you see, I've preserved the NVIDIA DGX Spark bundle here. And there's an option to cancel the reservation. Now, you might wonder why I have two reservations here. That's why I've because I've recorded a German version of this video and I've canceled the German reservation in order to make the US reservation. Basically, you can only have one reservation at a time, okay? So, um, from my perspective, again, go for the high-end system if you have a budget. If not, then maybe opt for the lower-end system. And a mixed strategy where you sign up with ASUS and uh, with NVIDIA in parallel doesn't hurt from my perspective. Comment below. Um, I will continue to make these videos and I will continue to update you. Um, especially excited about DGX Station, as I've shared in the other video, because of the memory bandwidth it has. Um, I'm looking for your questions to create the type of videos which answer the questions which you're interested in, so please comment below, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and have a wonderful day. And I hope that you will get your DGX Spark system soon, if that is what you're looking for. Enjoy.